maybe 14. 12, 13, and 14 are very foggy to me. I mean, I remember more of that than I do of my earlier childhood. And that means the good, the bad, and the indifference. I mean, I totally, like, I only remember things that my parents have told me has happened. Um, and certain names, like if, if somebody says, you know, a certain p person's name or something like that, then it will resonate feeling, but I don't know why. You know, so anyway, so my mind is sort of blocked out my past, which in a way is good because then I don't have to keep reliving it. But in another way, it's, bad. it's not so good because I don't remember the good things. I'm sure I had some good times. I mean, you know, not everything wasn't terrible all the time, I can't imagine. But anyway, so... Anyway, uh, so, the, getting back to stress, um, stress is a big trigger for me, um, I get very anxious around stress-related things, I don't like stress, it makes me anxious, um, I'm self-conscious about how people perceive me, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really a people pleaser per se. Um, I do what I want to do and if people like it then great. If they don't then that's great too. I mean I don't really care. But um, but at the same time I want people to like me. I want to be somebody that people can look up to. People can say oh that's a really nice person. I want, want, I want to be with that person more. You know, I want to spend more time with that person because she, she has an open heart and stuff like that. Anyway, so it's it's been stressful. So stress is a stress is a trigger for me. So I've had I had a um, really bad flashback. And if you've ever dealt with any type of abuse or anything of that nature, some some things can uh, lead to flashbacks. And, uh, and anyway, a situation happened, um, and, and I had flashback, um, and it was, I haven't had a flashback for very many, many, many years, and I didn't really know what I was, what was going on, because I didn't feel like I was there, I mean, I felt like, I mean, I, I didn't feel like I was in the Q and now I felt like I was in the then and there, and so I felt like so scared and and nervous and waiting for for something to happen, um, and, and obviously it never did because obviously we live in the here and now we don't live in the past, and so uh, anyway, I put myself. You know, because obviously I have children, so I need to, I need to be mindful of that, and need to be in a safe place when that kind of stuff happens. So I put myself in a timeout. I call it mommy timeout. So I put myself in a timeout, and I told, you know, my kid, well, the only kid that walks around freely. <laughs> I told my uh, three-year-old that you know, mommy needs a timeout. She needs to regroup and whatever, and, um, you know, I, I made sure, first of all, he was safe, and that he was happy, and whatever, and content, and then I went and, and had my meltdown, or my flashback, or whatever, so I was sort of in control of when it happened, but at the same time, I wasn't, because, I, I ended up, I, I ended up blacking out, sort of, like, I don't know how to describe a blackout to you guys, but it's, for me, it's like when, when I, I feel like the past is present, and all I'm thinking about is the past and what's happening in the past, and I'm, I'm, 
I'm rocking back and forth, holding my head down, covering my face in, in sort of like a ball. Um, and, and, and just apparently crying uncontrollably. And, uh, and I don't remember if I did anything during that period of time. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't think I got up and did anything, but I don't know for sure if I did or didn't because I don't remember. All I remember is at one point I put myself in a timeout and was walking back and forth and was crying and then the next minute I was standing up from the place that I sat down and everything was fine. Um, and I asked my son, you know, I said, what happened? And he said, oh, all you did was walk back. And, you know, he explained that I didn't do anything. So he just said, uh, you know, um, whatever. So I, um, I think I did an okay job, you know, in that circumstance. Um, but, um. I didn't have a video camera on me, so I don't know what it, what what really happened and and whatever. So I was thinking about going back to therapy, about trying to f trying to unlock my past. But to be honest with you, it scares the living out of me to think of what what my brain is trying to cover up. Why is it that I don't remember what I don't remember? And what happens if I, un if I reveal it? I have two kids now. I really can't afford to lose my sensibility, my sense of being, my sense of um, feeling like I'm in control of everything. Maybe that's why I have control issues because I'm so scared of losing control, but, um, anyway, so, um, I don't know, I guess I'm asking for people's advice, I mean, I don't know what to do, really, to be honest with you, I mean, I want to get help, and I want to search this out and figure out what's going on so it doesn't happen again, but at the same time, to what? Ever, you ever hear the saying, if you if, if you don't really want to know the answer, don't ask? You know, sort of like if a woman says, do I look good in this dress? What she wants to hear is yes, but what she... If she really doesn't look good in the dress, she should be told she doesn't look good in the dress. That way, you know, but... But we live in such a culture that... We don't want to offend anyone or make them angry or upset, um, especially about their own self-image. Anyway, um, now I'm just rambling. I don't know. Um, so thanks again for subscribing to my channel. I'm sorry I've been sort of... I really want to try to get better at uh, v blogging. Anyway, um... So, first of all, happy 5th birthday for YouTube. Yay, YouTube. Um, and thanks again for blogging, uh, for, for watching, and uh, come again when I upload another video. Hopefully it won't be that long. Um, and again, the Ask Carrie Ann segment is still going on, so if you have any questions for me, go ahead and ask. Alright, um, Talk to you guys later. Bye.